Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables. And we finally got ourselves set up here in Adelaide. Got our new place and rocking that. So can finally get back to making some more videos. So if anyone's got a um, PC they want built, let's get onto it, it's time to go. Um, so when I get all the modeling gear out and finished up, I'll um, get the board case finished. So just as a bit of an update video and just to test out the set a little bit, um, just doing a deconstruction of our Cooler Master um, 120mm AIO. It got severe pump wine, so it's been pulled out. Um, I replaced it with a thermal take 3.1 or 3.0 uh, water, um, and that's working really well. It's a 280mm and that that's been fa that's fantastic but this started whining and screaming and carrying on so we're going to pull it apart today and have a look at what's inside and see if we can see what happened to the impeller and like how um like pump one works basically i'm curious um so yeah that's all we're just going to try and open this guy up There we go, we got about <clears throat> half a cup, about, yeah, about half a cup of radiator coolant in that little guy. So yeah, there's not much in that. Oh, that just broke off really, really easily. One of them, it just... Yeah. Everything else has been quite solid, but that one just went ding and came off. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. This fitting's really, yeah. Uh, the other end actually felt quite solid, but that is just weak. Right. Three mil plastic, maybe? So, yeah. liquid parts out of the way. That's the fan header and RGB header. 
We're gazing to the cold plate, which is going to mash it in there. But yeah, it's just going to get mashed in there and then shot out the side and back through the loop. If I can get that off, we could have a look at the cold plate. We'll see if we can get that. But we want to find out about the impeller one, so let's have a look at the impeller. This thing was so noisy and I was sleeping with it. I had it running next to where I was sleeping and it was driving me crazy. I just to get it out as soon as possible. But look. 280 mil that I got is fantastic. I got an extra I think, 200 megahertz um, of the of the CPU and still running a lot cooler um, when I'm rendering. So yeah, it's, it's sweet as. I do have to paint the front of it though. It's kind of got really like massive letter, white lettering right on the front of like a uh, uh, like pump header and it, yeah. It's not the best font, but it works well, so we'll just paint the front of that and um, make it all black. <clears throat> you can hear it making all the noise. Try and get it on. You can hear it sort of making a weird grinding noise. A weird bit of just build up in like one spot. It was, like, it was just this weird little white spot. See it anywhere else on anything. This has become this has become worn. It's where yeah, it's where it's actually been rubbing on there. So just grab down the bottom and all that. There's also these little more little edges of the holes where it's been cut through to put the water through. Obviously has a little tiny edge, so it slowly grinds down. And there's also like just um, like molding marks there as well um, that are basically two sort of like pins there's almost two like points so yeah that's just going around and actually yeah just warm that there we go so we worked it out it's just wear completely and it's probably supposed to be really smooth like here like it is on the inside And then, yeah, it just kind of grinds itself down. So, yeah, that would just keep going. And you'd have to replace like that and everything because it's just going to keep grinding it down. So, yeah, there we go. The back of the holes because they've got edges grinds itself down. So to hell with you, bathe in your own blood. I may try and do something with just the radiator. Maybe it will bang it into something at some point. Cool. But anyway, that was today. Thought we wanted to see that new set wanted to sort of just check out the 
uh, how it looks and feels to edit and everything. So, so yeah, I hope, I hope you guys had a good day and um, hit those like and subscribe buttons for me and we'll try and get more stuff up. Anyone hit me up on here if you need a custom build at the moment, I'm free and let's get something going for you guys. Um, I can stream now. Um, I still got to get uh, Elgato to deal with HD, but I can put up a 720p live stream at the moment. And so we got that sorted finally and we can get this going. So have a great day guys and check you.